guys i'm glad to be back to share my thought for the week again so i was at a friend's house a while back and uh, he had this little tiny tv that was in the kitchen that he would be cooking chopping stuff up and looking at the tv at the same time so he was glancing at the tv but wasn't really engaged with the tv now if he really wanted to watch a great movie he would not hook that up to his little tv in the kitchen he would go into onto his big screen tv and sit back on the couch and engage and watch that great movie you see the little tv was simply for convenience but the big screen tv is for engagement and it made me realize how i seem to treat god sometimes it seems like to me that sometimes Man, I'll be going about my life doing my things and glance at God and glance at God, you know, and just, you know, for convenience. And I realize that there is a need for us to engage with God where all the world around us is locked out, where, you know, all eyes are on him and where everything is out of the way and it's time to engage with God. I remind me what Jesus said when he said, if any man wants to pray, let him go into his closet, close the door and connect with God. And when we become too busy, we lack the time to engage with God. The, the impact of that is eventually finding ourselves living lives of no power. You see, power is what comes when you engage privately with God where the world is locked out. You gotta realize that you and I are spiritual beings. And if we are spiritual beings and try to live life with our spiritual power, it's pretty frustrating and exhausting because we are created by God as spiritual being and the battles we fight are spiritual battles that show up in the physical realm and when we try to fight spiritual battles that show up in physical realm fighting them with physical ability we fail we lose and when we fall we can't get up and we feel guilty and frustrated and we can't just gain the momentum you cannot fight spiritual battles with physical strength that's why power matters. And so engaging with God to get spiritual power to face your day and fight spiritual battles are show up in the physical realm. Now, I want to encourage you, no matter how busy the life gets, that you need to schedule a regular time, sometime in the week. Now, I personally, uh, I engage with God every morning, but I get once a week on Saturday and I just create some time to be with God. And you can do that too. It's so vital. I can't stress it enough guys it's so vital we know what we just need to do it now talking about that i know there's so many things going on but if you are able to i want to invite you this friday man just come and be in an atmosphere and environment where the world will be locked out that you can be with god and it's prayer night friday 6 30 to 8 you come and begin to see how you can do this how you can develop this spiritual power so you can have the spiritual stamina to to face the day, the week, and just face every spiritual battle that may show up because it's not against flesh and blood. Everything that we fight is spiritual. So, God bless you guys. Have a great rest of your day, and I love you, and I'm out, and I'll talk to you soon. Peace. Bye-bye.